Hello everybody, this is Circle Plays. I am back again. We've only got two quests left of the Borderlands. We are back with our Let's Play of Dungeon Dragons Online. So we're almost towards the end of the Borderlands and then we're going to move on to the harbour, I believe. Yeah, wow, I can't believe I f I'm actually getting so close to the harbour. I feel like everything's going so quickly. Oh, and look at that sunset. That is beautiful. Right, we're going to speak to this guy. So he tells us who to speak to next. The captain of the guards. Alrighty, so it looks like we're dealing with hobgoblins next. So we just need to speak to this guy and I will show you where the quest is on the other side. I'm just going to cut to the part where I'm right in front of the adventure. So I'll be right back. Oh, ready everybody. So we are in front of the next quest. So this is our second to the last one now. This one I think is on like the far end. So it's a bit isolated compared to the rest of the quest. But we're almost there now. Let's have a look. And let's go inside. So the Hobgoblin Caves. Medium. Nice. So it looks like it's going to be a very straightforward quest. All of them are to be honest. Like they're very quick. Um... And not as long as some other quests that we've done, so it's really You nice. enter the caves, determined to eliminate another threat to the residents of the keep. Right, okay, so there's nothing there. Let's go right. Uh, usually I'd go left, but let's have a look, shall we? The lock on this stout door does not look pickable. What the hell? Oh, I hear a noises. <laughs> As the last goblin dies, you notice something glittering in the debris under the makeshift wooden walkway. Brilliant. Oh, okay. So we got the key. So again, pretty straightforward. She tells us where everything is, the which is quite nice. Door opens with the squeal of metal on metal, closing the guards on the far side. Oh, already. When they say goblin, I thought it was actually going to be like hobgoblins. I didn't think. Well, no, it does say Hobgoblin Chief. Oh, so, hold on, I'm gonna see what's in here first. Ooh, some rubble. Nice, we got some gems. I could I could have collected them to sell, but it's all good. Um, right, okay, so it looks like this needs to... Oh! Yeah, so it looks like we need a lever to open this, which should be nearby. Let's have a look. Oh, this is a nice little area. It looks a little bit like a tavern, this does. I like this. Alright, I'll let him deal with that. Um, there's nothing in here. All seems to be barrels so far. Let's have a look-see. Alright, so this is the same area. By the way, if you... As, as the name states, it's an explosive barrel. So if you hit the barrels with the red X's, it's going to explode and deal damage to you. So just another tip in the future, because I don't think we've come as across one opens, yet. A small goblin cries out. It's me, Chief, now! You go away! <laughs> the goblin falls. Looking around, you spot an iron key in the back of the chamber. Fantastic. Alright, so we got another iron key. And uh, let's have a look what's through here. So we got a few of them patrolling. Uh, they don't have many hit points, so it's not the worst thing for us. And let's have a look. They say this was a medium quest, though. I think this is <laughs> one of the longer looking ones we've had in a while. All right, so we know what door this the unlocks. The crystal flares to life as the lever is pulled. Somewhere in the tunnels, another crystal responds. Yeah, so it looks like that door was an optional area but let's have a look and see what it unlocks so let's go back this way and into here the red crystal begins to glow and the sound of stone scraping on stone echoes out from the goblins common area right okay um i'll have to look into that in a second because i don't really know what the common area is um <laughs> So we went in here. So the next bit is this way. You hear the squeal of rats from the doorway ahead. Let's have a look. Rats. Yep, yeah, so we have more rats. I'm just going to look around some of the corners just in case we miss anything. Uh, let's get some fungus. Now we've got some more. Pale creeper. Nice. Yeah, so it looks like this is a dead end. So I don't think we needed to go this far. 
Um, but let's go back to the areas we haven't been in yet. So we've explored all of this. So we just need to go back to the beginning area. So I think it was safe for me to keep on continuing. So might as well go to the end because it gives you like extra XP to um, kill things. So that's fine. Ah, so this is where this unlocks. Okay, let's have a look. A foul stench wafts out from this newly opened cavern. Oh my gosh, that's an ogre. That looks like an ogre. <laughs> Ogres are usually pretty um, hard, so they have this um, attack where they kind of hit, hit you multiple times and it is, it hurts, okay. If you do these quests on like elite or something like that, it is going to hurt you. So just a, just a bit of advice, if you see an ogre about to prepare to do that, uh, try and get out of the way. Um, on normal difficulty it's not so bad because obviously everything's supposed to be a little bit easier so it doesn't deal as much damage to you, but... Um... Okay, let's kill these. Anything in here? Nope. Right, let's go this to this door. This heavy iron-bound door is fitted with an unpickable magical lock. Oh, the so here are the hobgoblins. Hinges, startling the hobgoblins on the far side. Alright, okay, so I think we're towards the end now. Yep, there is the little stairs you leading hear the us. the sounds of guttural chanting coming from the chamber ahead. Okay, let's go. Oh, there's a magical, the magical barrier. barrier. seals off the passage. Perhaps the magical runes on the wall are the key to opening it. Oh no. <laughs> Ah, oh, puzzles. Okay, um... I'm not the greatest for puzzles, I'm not gonna lie when it comes to these type of things. Let's have a look. Um... Do, 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 do. This may be a straightforward one, I don't know. Um... So, we've got question mark. So there has to be something in here that indicates what we need to open it, right? It usually does tell us like somewhere along the lines. Okay, so we can't actually open these. Hold on. Right, okay. So this one. Alright, now we have to remember the next one. This, 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 this. So this. Oh my gosh, okay. This one, this one, this one, this one, this one. Oh my gosh, okay. Oh, thank god. <laughs> I don't show the last one. I hate memory games. <laughs> oh, I'm glad I did that right away. That would have been so embarrassing to um, get wrong. Don't get me wrong though. If you do get it wrong, obviously, it, it, like it, it all depends on what you're capable of, right? Like my memory is so bad, so I'm actually quite proud of myself for doing that. I'm not gonna lie. Um, so there's two directions. It looks like he's going this way, so we're gonna. <laughs> Go say hi to the little bowmen here who are trying to hit us already. I said this quest was medium, they lied to us, chat. A massive iron gate bars this passage. Right, it's okay. Oh. Ah, so maybe there was like two directions to go, but let's open this very grand looking door. Very beautiful. Um Oh, don't run away from me. Okay, let's keep going towards the pretty door, shall we? <laughs> let's have a look. And got a chanter. Now, my pro tips uh, with hobgoblins: always kill the ones like the, the wall in the armory oh. slides open, making barely a sound. Right, my pro tip with hobgoblins: oh, to be honest, with any type of creatures. 
always kill the casters first because they cast some very nasty spells like they can cast like hold all different types of spells on you that like prevent you from killing the people the hobgoblin chieftain lurches out of his throne with a roar the hobgoblin chieftain slumps to the ground Dead. fantastic okay so that was a pretty straightforward one um is there any more chests we need to be aware of let's have a look because there are some areas we did miss out on um so this door is locked i'm assuming we need a rope to do that one <laughs> yeah again i really wish i had my knock spell and i'm just going to check out the other area we missed out as well so let's have a look so we went this way so we all went towards the pretty doors um, this small chamber looks like a safe place to rest. Yep, so we got a shrine. That's quite nice. And let's have a look this way. Okay. You hear deep voices in conversation up ahead. I'm just going to check. So I'm just going to go around and doing all the optionals. Sometimes the it's worth it. The feast hall falls silent as we enter the chamber. The last of the hobgoblins lets out a sharp whistle just before he dies, summoning reinforcements. Reinforcements, eh? Right. Okay. So I guess this is just like another area, um, just to confuse people. Um, well, not to confuse people per se, but like it's to leave people off track, right? It gives you more stuff to explore. Uh, let's have a look what's on this side. I think this is another shrine and yeah, I think we explored the full area. So nice quest. I like it. A little bit of puzzles, um, a lot of mobsters to go through. It looks a little bit like a maze, but to be perfectly honest, this quest is actually quite linear. So not too bad, I shall say. And let's have a look. Oh, this is still highlighting... I did finish it, right? I'm just wondering why it's still saying it's active. Oh no, it's not. Usually when the door is yellow, it means the quest is still usually on the quest path, but I think that must be just a little bit of a bug, so that's fine. I love how I can see little kobolds can <laughs> like dancing ahead of me as well. That was quite cute. Alrighty. Wow, there's so many people in front of this. I feel like these people have been in front of this gate for like an hour now. It can't be just me. I feel like they've been there for a while. We're just going to go ahead and get our reward for this quest. So let's have a look-see. Um, so fire absorption. Mm, um, heavy crossbow. A club and spell penetration. I think I want the most expensive thing so I can sell it, which is the bow. So let's go ahead and do that. But thank you everybody for watching me. I hope to see you again in my next episode where I do the final quest in the Borderlands. And what I'm thinking of doing is I'm going to do a another part of the Borderlands where I find the items to get yourself a mount. Because I believe when you go into the combat area there are certain places where you can collect items to get uh, the the horses so that would be very interesting yeah i did a little bit of research on this place before entering in luckily um but yeah i will leave you to it and i'll see you in my next one bye